What's up my comic comrades and welcome to Villains Month here on Variant, one of my favorite times of year. And there's no better way to kick things off than with a Carnage episode alongside his long awaited big screen debut in Venom Let There Be Carnage, which of course finally hits theaters this weekend. So today we're going to take a look at some of his feats in comics over the years and see how powerful Carnage has been proven to be over the years before we find out how that's translated into live action. We also want to mention that this Sunday, October 3rd, we are partnering with Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo to bring you an exclusive sneak peek at issue one of their upcoming horror series, We Have Demons. It's the first of eight new creator owned titles being launched under Scott Snyder's new comic imprint, Best Jacket Press and Comixology Originals. We already read the first issue and guys, it is insanely good. I mean, really good. This might be one of my favorite horror series. So needless to say, we are stupid excited to be introducing the story to all of you in the Variant Nation this weekend with exclusive creator insights into the pages of the book from Snyder and Capullo themselves. Very similarly to what we've been doing with Astonishing Times. So mark your calendar to be right back here on the Variant Channel this Sunday, October 3rd, you don't want to miss it. But now let's see how strong the fan love Carnage symbiote really is. Carnage is easily one of the strongest symbiotes out there. Some people would even argue the strongest in terms of sheer strength. I mean, he literally chucked Venom around like it was nothing, but I'm sure most Marvel fans have seen that reading any Carnage book. So something a little more interesting that demonstrates his strength is the time he tore out an adamantium sentinel eye. He could even do things like move entire cars with his tendrils, or you know, tear off a reinforced door with his bare hands, and in the same vein, he's able to rip off bars from a prison cell. What I'm saying is, it's really hard to keep Carnage incarcerated. Carnage was even able to bite Wolverine's bone claws off saying tasty more and he's so strong in fact he was once able to pull his way out of Cloak's dimension which is no easy feat but the most powerful version of Carnage we've seen thus far has been in Donny Cates Absolute Carnage when Carnage was resurrected and bonded with the Grendel symbiote. If you're unaware the Grendel symbiote is a dragon-like symbiote that served Null and Carnage bonded with it. As I just told you this made Carnage extremely OP and he no longer had weaknesses to heat, sound, or fire like most symbiotes, as well as increasing his strength like a lot. At the beginning of Absolute Carnage, he beat the ever-living crap out of Venom, and at one point Cletus Cassidy, aka Carnage, uses symbiote maggots he pulled from inside his corpse to infect other people, turning them into what I dubbed Carnage Dogs. So now he has an army of Carnage Dogs, as I called them, at his disposal in this state. It's pretty freaking nuts, but heroes always have to win, so obviously he lost by the end of this event. But nonetheless, Carnage is incredibly physically strong. He's also incredibly durable. Case and point, Carnage was once smashed through every single floor of the raft at extremely high speeds by the Sentry, one of Marvel's strongest characters, and was completely unharmed. Now, with that said, after Sentry flew Carnage through every floor in the raft, he flew him into space, at which point Sentry ripped him in half, killing him. But he was good up until that point. I'm just focusing on that he was able to take a beating from Sentry with no damage, until Sentry decided to rip him in half in space. Carnage also survived a series of Nova Force blasts from Sam Alexander Nova. It burnt him up a little bit, but he recovered and went right back to fighting before escaping. If you don't know anything about Nova, let me just tell you that's extremely impressive because Nova's force blasts are no joke. On another occasion, when Carnage was fighting Spider-Man, Spider-Man punches Carnage with everything he's got behind it. But Carnage just whipped his head back saying, is that the best you could do? That is so pathetic. In the same vein, when Carnage was fighting the Scarlet Spider, who was going all out saying, I'm going to send you to hell, Cassidy. But Carnage just responded with laughing at Scarlet Spider's efforts. Then Carnage has all the normal stuff like bullets bouncing off of him, aka being impervious to gunfire, unaffected after getting electrocuted from a thousand volts of electricity, takes a repulsor blast like it's no big deal, survives getting hit by US military missiles, and the list goes on. But even more impressive than that, he survived a blast from Genesis, a clone of Apocalypse who was raised by Phantom Max, to become the ultimate weapon. Carnage literally took that hit on the chin, as well as taking a hit from Doctor Doom on the chin, and still survived. My fellow Doctor Doom fans out there know why that's impressive, because Doctor Doom at certain points in comics has been one of the most powerful characters out there. Now one of the things that makes Carnage so formidable and nearly impossible to kill is his insane regeneration abilities. I'd say it's up there with the likes of Deadpool and Wolverine, maybe even better in a lot of cases. Don't believe me? Well, here are some examples. When Agent Venom chopped off his head, Carnage just grew a new body back seconds later, all John Carpenter's The Thing style, saying nice try, then proceeded to stab Agent Venom in the back with his hand. He even reformed his entire head after it was blown off with a gun. Then on another occasion, Deadpool put a grenade in his mouth, causing Carnage's head to blow up yet again. But just like all the other times, he grew his head right back, at which point Shriek helped Carnage take down Deadpool. The bottom line is the Carnage symbiote lives within Cassidy's bloodstream, which means he could form and reform the symbiote from scratch with only a single drop of blood. Now, besides his amazing regeneration abilities, Carnage is known for his shape-shifting abilities, which he most notably uses to form spikes, 
axes and other things to impale people with. Some examples would be Cassidy shooting a spike from his face to impale and kill a man who was sitting right next to him. He's even extended multiple spikes from his body at the same time to kill several people at once in a prison breakout. Or you know the time he made himself an entire flexible blade, killing four people at once like a demented slinky of death. Then of course we have his signature finger spikes, which he uses to slash through and impale people. Some people may be like, no, you're wrong, Eris. His axe is his signature, which fine, yeah, that too, as he does all sorts of devastating things with that as well. Now also extremely impressive is the time Carnage was on top of the Empire State Building and extended his tendrils throughout the entire city to save people from gunfire. And even with his tendrils stretching this long, he was still strong enough to lift people. Now, as always, of course, we save the weirdest and or the most impressive feat for a character for last. And for Carnage, it would be the fact that he could extend his molecular monofilament right through the computer or TV screen, through the processor and the modem, down to the phone or internet line, past the switching stations, and right out the screen on the other end. And he's done this several times in comics over the years. What it means is that Carnage can travel anywhere in the world within seconds through phone and internet lines, and then even come out of computer screens or TV screens. Imagine he's after you and you're at home on your computer and he literally just pops through your screen, chopping your head off. That's a bad day. It's also an ability that I imagine only diehard Carnage fans know of. So especially in 2021, this would make Carnage almost unstoppable as everything in 2021 is run by internet and cable lines, meaning there would be no escaping him. But there you have it, friends, several feats and abilities that show you just how powerful Carnage is. Again, he's easily one of the top three strongest symbiotes out there and definitely one of the coolest. So let us know what some of your favorite Carnage feats are in the comments. And that's going to bring today's episode of Variant to a close. But if you like today's video, be sure to check out this one right here to my left, your right. And if you like all of our content, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. It always helps the channel out. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.